Sometimes when we're estimating economic relationships using OLS, we might want to place a restriction on the values that the coefficients can take. So in this exercise, what we're going to look at is how we might impose these restrictions. So for instance, in the first example, we're going to look at how we might impose that the um, intercept is equal to one plus the slope parameter. And in the second part, we're going to look at how we can impose that the intercept plus the slope parameter is equal to three. However, before we do that, let's consider a linked example. If we wish to estimate the relationship between two economic variables and we impose that the intercept is equal to zero, we're effectively drawing a straight line through our data, a line of best fit where we're minimizing the sum of squares of the residuals, the sum of the squares of the UI hats, but by imposing that the line goes through the intercept. Um, so the question is, how would we go about doing this? Well, we can see that we have a whole set of UI hats that have fitted residuals, and we're going to try and minimize the sum of squares of those vertical distances between the observed point and the line, conditioning that the line goes through the intercept. So we're going to minimize the sum of squares of these UI hats. And the UI hats, remember, are just the difference between the observed Y and the fitted Y. So the sum of squares of the residuals is just the sum of squares of the YI minus YI hats, which is the same as the sum of squares of the YI minus B hat XI. Now, in order to minimize this, we're going to differentiate the sum of squares of the residuals with relation to b hat. We're choosing the optimal b hat, which minimizes this sum of squares of the residuals. The expression that we get here looks pretty horrible, but Effectively, because we're differentiating with relation to b hat, which doesn't change according to each entry in the summation, we can effectively ignore the summation. So we're going to take the 2 down the front, we're going to lower the power by 1, and then we multiply by the derivative of what's inside the bracket, giving us minus 2 times by the sum of yi minus b hat xi times by xi. And then multiplying out the brackets gives us that the sum of the yi xi is minus b hat times by the sum of the x squared is equal to zero. And then from this, we can write down our OLS estimator when we're estimating a relationship imposing that this um, intercept is equal to zero as b hat is equal to the sum of the y x's over the sum of the x squared. Now we're gonna use this uh, result in order to help us to analyze how we might estimate other relationships where we impose constraints. So in the exercise that we're looking at, we're trying to impose that the intercept beta naught is equal to one plus beta one. If we substitute this into the relationship we're trying to estimate, replacing the beta naught by the one plus beta one, we get yi is equal to one plus beta one plus beta one xi plus ui. Now we can group these terms together. We can see that we've got a beta one term um, both in that intercept and multiplying the xi. Let's take them one over to the left hand side, so we'll subtract one from each side, and then we've got beta one times by one plus xi plus ui. So let's create some new variables. Let's define little yi, so lowercase yi, as just being equal to the original yi minus one, and little xi, lowercase xi, as being equal to one plus xi. If we write down the specification that we're trying to estimate with these new variables, we just have yi is equal to beta one xi plus ui. But this is just a specification where we impose that the intercept is equal to zero. We know what that estimator is using OLS. It's just the sum of the little yi xi's over the sum of the x squared. So let's substitute back in for little y and little x and we get that our estimator, the OLS estimator, having imposed that beta naught is equal to one plus beta one, is just the sum of that original yi minus one times by one plus xi over the sum of one plus x squared.
Moving on to the second part, where we're trying to impose that beta naught plus beta 1 is equal to 3, we're going to use exactly the same sort of trick. So if we want to impose that beta naught plus beta 1 is equal to 3, that means that effectively you can write beta naught as being equal to 3 minus beta 1. So let's substitute this into the relationship that we are going to estimate. So we're going to estimate yi is equal to 3 minus beta 1 plus beta 1 xi plus ui. Let's group the terms together again. We'll take 3 over to the left hand side. So we've got yi minus 3. We've got beta 1 times by xi minus 1. We've not changed anything about the relationship by doing this, but what we can say is we've got a dependent variable, which is yi minus 3. We've got an explanatory variable, which is xi minus 1. We could use exactly the same trick as we just have. Um, we've just done in our previous example, and we write down our estimator for the slope parameter is just the sum of the new dependent variable, yi minus 3, times by the new explanatory variable, xi minus 1, and divide through by the sum of squares of the xi minus 1s.